Hello everyone, my name is Les and I'm the Monster Painter and today I'm going to be taking a look at the American Church by Rendra. The American Church, 1750 a modern day? Well, certainly uh, looks like it's going to be useful for Civil War and you know there's a lot of rural America out there in the modern day still. I think though, I mean the church isn't in that much trouble. I think we can at least say it's good for the near future uh, as well. And of course, what do we get? Sprues, gray sprues. Ooh, look, a lot of fencing, a lot of fencing. And our lovely gray church. Now, uh, this thing was uh, on my uh, pile of shame. Um, so I've already washed the sprues, but I always strongly recommend you wash the sprues. And, uh, and we're going to see if it's really worth $28.95 plus tax. That's in Canadian dollars, of course. All right. Of course, the, we all know the next step. Step. I'm going to clip out the sprues. Oh, well, I like this. Sometimes the sprues can be, uh, Give you plenty of fight, but uh, it doesn't look like this one's going to uh, give too much fuss. Snapped off pretty cleanly, and it doesn't look like there's all that much, all that much to uh, trim off. No, there's a little bit there, but yeah. Well, that's certainly encouraging. Who? A lot of work there, so uh, I'm not going to make you suffer through me clipping all the sprues. Yawn. The uh, church is uh, all clipped out and ready to go. Uh, the fencing, in, there are two sprues of it still on the, uh, on the sprues. I'm going to set those aside for now because I'm going to try to take on this, uh, this. 19th century church and let us hope that the instructions on the back are all I'm going to need to get this done. I always find this uh, the scariest part and um, yep yeah, time to do the building the model phase. So we're going to be using some good old uh, plastic glue. The uh, kit assembles with plastic glue which is always a relief because it's a uh, Kind of an easier uh, material to work with, I find. And I guess, uh, how do you build an American church? You gotta start at the bottom, I suppose. So, let's see here. Yep, yeah, something like that. Well, all right. I gotta hand it to uh, Renadra. Renadra. Or however you pronounce that name, Renadra. This thing was a joy to build. It came together nice and quick. It's nice and sturdy. It's already looking great. So I'm uh, looking forward to uh, letting it uh, letting it all set up and priming it and painting it because this was a pleasure to build. Now, now we gotta see about these uh, fences. More sprue clipping, more sprue clipping, more sprue clipping. All right, now while I love this church and how easy it went together and it's feeling nice and solid and is ready to prime up and get painted, the fences I'm less in love with. Uh, they were a bit futsy, a bit uh, tricky to fit together. Everything had to be trimmed nicely. And I'm not entirely convinced that they're going to hold together. I mean, they're quite lovely. They are very, uh, you know, accurate, uh, uh, convincing uh, picket fences. Uh, I'm just not sure if they're going to survive the painting process altogether and that they're going to be uh, sturdy enough to be bounced around on the tabletop occasionally. This might be a l something that's a little more suited to dioramas, but we'll see as I'm going to get it all primed and painted. And there it is with the white primer. 
I mean, if you had to, you could get away with it like this, because churches are kind of white. And I have to uh, apologize to Rendra. I didn't think these things were going to hold together very well at all. I didn't think they were going to survive the priming. But they are feeling very stable with just uh, the plastic glue, so uh, I think they'll have no trouble making it on and off the, uh, the uh, tabletop dozens of times without any... Uh, without breaking or anything like that. So, that's uh, Rendra 1, the Monster Painter 0. All right, here we go with the first step on our lovely church and its lovely fencing, which is pretty simple, straightforward brown base coat. And then off to the next step. And there she is with her first layer of paint. The church, I, I gotta say, I'm loving this model. The thing practically looks finished every step of the way. But we know that the pastor is gonna want his church to be white. So we're gonna slap a bit of white paint on it. The, uh, and that should uh, bring it to a near completion. And uh, yeah, got the fences going. They're also looking pretty good. So yeah, loving this model so far. She's really starting to uh, come together, the old church. I think I've just got some details and a little bit of work on the roof. The uh, lovely, lovely fences are nearly finished. I think I'll I just have to do a little something to the, uh, to the bottom, the base. But otherwise, they are looking quite nice and they have holded together during my rough and ready painting process. So uh, again, Rendra, your, your fences are lovely. My concerns were false. And here we have the finished church in its natural habitat. A zombie apocalypse. Looks like there's a survivor who's got himself into some trouble. Rendra's American church. It's not going to be suitable for every setting. I mean, it's going to look kind of silly in the 40th millennia. And um, in a fantasy world, it's going to look a little jarring. I mean, ooh, ooh. but uh, I would uh, personally shoehorn it into my frost grave table, but that's just me. Where this thing is really going to sing is in any historic setting. From the American Revolution to the not too distant future, this church is a good choice. It's uh, perfect for my games of uh, gothic horror in the Weird West, um, Dracula's America, and when I want to fight, uh, fight in a post-apocalyptic nightmare, a uh, last day zombie apocalypse, this thing is perfect for it. Um, the model was fun to build. I'm not a model builder, but uh, this one was nice. And it painted itself, practically. I mean, I got a really beautiful uh, result out of a pretty simple uh, painting approach and uh, totally table ready. That, all that, and it cost me $29 Canadian. This thing is good value. And on that, I give it my highest rating. I give it a super wow. Well, thank you for watching the video. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like and the subscribe uh, buttons. And if you have any comments, thoughts, or criticisms, please leave them in the uh, comments below. I'll talk to you next time. I'm Les, the Monster Painter.